it's that time again where I get to finish another sketchbook. Got two or three pages left in this one. I know we just did a sketchbook tour, but I've been working in this sketchbook simultaneously. It's this cute little square size. I've been taking it on the go. So I figured we can finish this sketchbook together. It's gonna be a busy day and week. It's also fall time. So I'm thinking we'll do some illustrations and designs based on some fall themes, but also, I've got some announcements. See, funny thing about Bob is you never really know when it's coming. But you better believe you'll know when it's there. True story. I must have been searching, though I wasn't looking for much. Announcement number one, Tilda misses you and she says hi. Right, Tilda? So it's been a little while since we kind of hung out in the studio together. Fall time just makes me feel so happy and warm inside. And I already have a sticker design in mind. I happen to have this gouache set and it has all these fall colors. So I'm thinking to incorporate just some browns and oranges into this last few pages of illustrations. Let's put these babies to use. Okay, so I'm really feeling this fall theme. I'm like craving to paint autumn leaves. Initially, I have this thought of something like this standing in fall leaves, so maybe I can use this to make my own image. I'm thinking to change this into like Converse and maybe she's wearing jeans and I wanna change the shape of the leaves. So I think this is gonna be the idea for painting number one. Sometimes inspiration starts from images, sometimes it starts from your imagination, but initially we get this kind of idea that comes up and then I either start looking for images that will continue to spark that idea or I'll see if I have any images that I have in my own library. So right now I'm just headed to pexels.com. It's a royalty free website and I'm just gonna look at some fall images and see what feel I wanna go for for these paintings. And this is the last three pages of the sketchbooks. I think they're just going to be the final exclusive designs for October. It's just the best time of the year, guys. <laughs> so let's get to designing because well, we've got lots to do today. Setting up a cozy and functional space has been an essential in my workflow. After getting comfy and in the zone with a candle, I toned my paper with an ochre for the base layer and then I began adding all the other colors on top. So what I love about gouache is the layering aspect to it. For this illustration, I basically started off with a base color that I just put over the whole thing. I just cover the whole page with some gouache and then I'm able to carve out all the little leaves and have that show through in different layers, which is fun because all the different colors of the autumn leaves show through and the yellow that I put as the underpainting is also showing through and then I just can paint the silhouette out of the other leaves. And the other great thing about gouache is that as soon as you lay down a layer, it dries pretty quickly. So for the feed, I'm able to get the feed in relatively quickly. And as soon as the shadows dry, you can lay in some highlights on top of that. And that's probably my favorite thing about gouache. A lot of people can get frustrated with gouache, but for me, I really, really enjoy using it. And I have to say it's maybe one of my favorite mediums, especially if I'm working quickly or trying to get things done under time pressure, which we are. <laughs> I think this is going to be a really great postcard and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I did time myself and I kind of went over time, but let's get started on the next illustration. And I just love the way it turned out. What do you guys think?
The idea that I came up with is of this bear that's sipping on this latte or this pumpkin spice latte uh, or a cup of tea and he's just enjoying the surroundings and he's super peaceful so I wanted it to feel really cozy, really warm and setting my little sanctuary and having my own cup of tea beside me was nice inspiration for this and really helped with coming up with the general illustration as well. I wanted it to feel as if the seasons are changing and exactly how I feel now, just bringing that feeling into this illustration. And I just hope to convey some coziness and some love and some happiness into this piece. I want it to explode warmth and love. And I added this little cute scarf <laughs> to show some movement and flow in the wind to contrast the bear and the warmth of the piece and to have the cup stand out i'm giving it a cool blue but yet soft a very pastel like lavenderish blue and then i'm adding a little bit of shadows with brown and i wanted this to be kind of like the center and meaning of the piece so that's why i decided to use a color that's a little bit contrasting to all the others okay so i came into a little bit of an of an issue here but not really this is like a square format and the postcard is going to be a bit larger so i'm thinking that i'm going to need to scan this in and take it into procreate and extend it out and maybe add a little bit of this yummy smell from the coffee or the latte that's going to go up into the page because compositionally i kind of drew it a little too high or too low here but it's okay because we'll go into procreate i think everything is fixable in art by the way so i'll take that into the program and then i'll add it extend it and we'll kind of crop it a little bit higher here and check out the palette i feel like the palette is always a work of art on its own these tin palettes are really great for gouache i think they're a perfect surface when it comes to a great big mixing area so yeah highly recommend this guy Sometimes I like to mix different mediums and different techniques to complete certain illustrations, especially when they're going to be going for print after. I imported my sketch here and now I'm going to take a similar pencil in here and I'm going to actually just extend this up like so. I'm going to color drop. And I'm going to extend this up because the composition was kind of just a little detour here. <laughs> so I'm going to just have this go up and design it to go kind of like that. And this will give me like a nice composition and flow in this way. Like I said, everything is fixable and you can make everything work out. As long as you don't get discouraged and you just have faith. Dia de nuvens no céu, trânsito do lado do chão, presa no mal a cheia, a concha fugindo do som, já beira de sumir, a fundo na maré que vem, o motorista me sorri e gê. Viver por essa simples, um dia para ser feliz. Tirando um tempo só pra mão E a casa que pede pis Ou vendo um fim feito branco E as nuvens a passar No seu flutuar 
As coisas não vão se encaixar Se você se cobrar demais Deixe não se enganar Right, here is the finished illustration. I love the composition. It looks super, super sweet. And I think it just conveys how I feel when I'm having a warm, delicious cup in the fall time. Making progress. One at a time. And let's go on to the next one. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I have to do on the agenda that I've just been putting off, you know, there's those things that you just off because yeah you don't know why but it just happens I really want to finally launch some email campaigns so that when somebody signs up on my website that they can just get updates and if there's events happening like I just announced people will be able to know about it while I'm doing that research I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored today by Squarespace so I have my website set up with Squarespace and they also have built-in email campaigns there, so um, amazing. They have a bunch of built-in features like their award-winning templates, which I love. I run my shop and have my portfolio up on my website. One of my favorite things upon starting with Squarespace many years back was how user-friendly their features are. I honestly didn't know anything about launching a newsletter and the built-in feature was so simple to use. I love customizing my homepage so you guys can reach any of my resources in the click of a button. If you're new here, I have a free downloadable sketchbook prompt and a resources guide for artists too. So whether you're launching your portfolio or your first newsletter like me today, head over to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com forward slash just carp for 10% off your first purchase right, of a I'll website or domain. Later. Okay, bye. Okay, so I just spoke to my friend Lex. Um, there was a lot of construction going on and the audio was really loud so basically my friend Lex gave me some opinions and some tips on launching certain newsletters and how to design them. Yeah, something you may not find that exciting. Juggling and balancing all these activities is all part of it. So as I'm learning that it's okay to reach out for help sometimes and <laughs> not try to take everything on on your own, you know? After taking a short break to do that and just get the research in, I was itching to sketch and finally get the idea out of my head and onto paper. So we talked about how some inspiration comes from images and sometimes it comes from places and sculptures you see. I was actually at TJ Maxx, which is like a big department store here in the US. And I came across a little sculpture statue with two wizards hugging and their hats meeting at the top with a heart. And that inspired me to also kind of make little gnomes in my own way and my own design with their own cute little outfits and sketching that out to see how it looks. At the top here, I love this little heart that forms with their hats. And I think I'm gonna have this like a really light area. I wanna scan this too and see if I can color this digitally. And I've done this before, but I haven't done this in a while. So that's why it may still feel like new to me. I use the pencil mark as the underpainting of the digital painting but how cute are they they're so sweet The little gnomes are scanned and I brought them into Procreate as well. I'm thinking this would save me time, but I also have a feeling that this is gonna take longer than usual. So here's my sketch straight out. I removed the background 
and I'm just going to be using this as a silhouette to paint on top and I'll use a layer of multiply and this way I can just have the pencil show through as I'm painting on top of it. I wanted the colors in this design to reflect fall colors. I wanted their outfits to be super sweet and warm. I added pumpkins and autumn leaves and sunflowers and all that's left is just to finish it up. Come on baby, take a leap of faith. Okay, here's how they came out. I, I think they're super sweet and all the designs are finally done. I guess I couldn't help it because I just really enjoyed painting and creating today. I got three pieces done in the matter of about four hours. I'm pretty tired and hungry, but I've still got Jesstober list to make, which is the art challenge that I'll be doing in October. I've still got some announcements to tell you guys about and some flyers to make, but we're making good progress. So we're going to do a quick little food break and then get back to work. Yum, these berries, quite delightful. Okay, so remember when I told you that I have an announcement? Well, I'm really excited to announce that this year I will be at Lightbox Expo in Pasadena, California. I'm so excited. I got invited to do a demo at the actual event, which if you're not familiar with, it's a big convention expo going on all weekend. I'll be there from the 27th to 29th of October. It'll be their fifth annual event celebrating all different artists, incredible artists from film, animation, TV shows, games, you name it, illustrations. Definitely check out their website to see the incredible panel this year. There's going to be so many amazing artists that I can't wait to meet. It's going to be my first year. However, I'm also super duper excited to do a demo and see you guys and meet you guys live. So I'll be walking around all weekend. If you have a chance to go check it out, how cool is it that I'll be able to see you and meet you in person? I'm super grateful to be a part of it this year. And just a quick little intro to what I'll be doing for the demo. I'm going to be doing a live gouache portrait demo and I'll have some sketchbooks on display so you can touch them, flip through them in person. And I'll also be giving away a brand new sketchbook to one lucky attendant who's going to be watching the demo and more info on my Instagram. So be sure to check it out. So yeah, that's pretty exciting news. I am so looking forward to it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the event itself and I'll be sure to do my best and answer it. If you want to know more about the event, its location, where it's going to be, be sure to check out their website. And yeah, I'm so excited. And also, what do you guys like more, raspberries? Blackberries, blueberries, or strawberries? That's a hard one. Okay, let's get back to it. I spent some time ordering all of the prints from my manufacturer. I decided to go with this size for the gnomes. 
Deciding everything from colors to cut lines to size is all part of it too. Can't wait to see how they come out in person and arrive in the mail. But I then just did some painting for myself. I didn't get much footage for it because sometimes I just want to turn off the camera and paint. But I just did a test run painting of all of the watercolors that I did in my art haul in the previous video. Check it out if you missed it. And as I was painting, sometimes when I zone out into my meditative state and in the zone, I do well thinking while I'm painting. So I was just brainstorming and thinking about some ideas for my series for October. Good to get things done let me tell you that as you know every october i do a series many people do some art challenges like inktober as well but i like to make my own prompts and really push the creativity now it's a super busy month for me oh hello where were we so yeah since it's a pretty busy month i still decided to tackle it but i'll just be posting like every two days yeah I like to tackle everything with an intention. So here is my intention for this year. I really want to get back into drawing some character designs because they make me feel really happy and they're very uplifting. It's going to come out tonight. The prompts that I came up with all rhyme and they have something to do with animals. So let me read some to you and then the final list will be posted on my Instagram. I love you. Okay. Here are some of the prompts. We've got, first one is spunky monkey, like a funky monkey, dog with a travel log. We've got pig in a wig, cat with a bat. We've got fox in socks. I feel like these immediately get your imagination going. She just wants to be pet. Are you gonna let me film? I feel like these immediately get your inspiration going. I have goat in a coat. I just picture these stylized cool characters with all these different shapes and yeah you get the picture so i think these are i'm on to something so i think this is what it's gonna be and i'm really excited this is exactly how i'm gonna have everything planned and organized so that i stay on track i'm probably gonna be posting and filming and recording and editing all that daily however i'll be posting maybe every two or three days and i'm already gonna probably be posting and starting late but hey it's a marathon, not a sprint. I'm currently just putting and inputting each of the prompts so that I can actually adjust it. I have this template that I made from last year, but I'm just readjusting. This was part of my alphabet series, but I'm in between the yellow background and maybe I'm gonna make all of them brown because I feel like they pop more. Yeah, I think that's better. And I did post an art challenge guide over on my Patreon so that you can stay organized with the challenge. Once I worked on the placement and all of the designs, it was time to put it out into the world and show you guys so you can participate as well. I always get butterflies before uploading. Okay. Whew. It's official. Jess Tober list is up on Instagram. Be sure to check it out. Feel free to join in and post in the hashtag just over 23 hashtag that way we can all find each other i am really excited to see what you guys create and i'm just so excited to start drawing um i think this is a really interesting list full of a lot of imagination <laughs> so i'm eager to see what everybody comes up with i feel like today was a really productive day and i am feeling so much gratitude and I'm pretty tired but I'm also like feeling that little glimmer of excitement but I think I'm going to just wind down and I wanted to try something new today I've been doing a lot of affirmations and a lot of just journaling and maybe anyone who needs to hear it I really wanted to end the video with some gratitude affirmations and see how you guys like them because they really personally help me and it's just a nice way to connect with you guys as well so let's get cozy get a cup of tea 
maybe get your journal or your sketchbook and why don't I read some affirmations to you guys and we're going to end and wind down the day like that. Feel free to grab some headphones or just a comfy seat. No rules whatsoever. Just try to get cozy. Feel free to either close your eyes or sketch while I read some affirmations. Today, I want to try and read some about expressing creativity and also some gratitude. And these also can be found in a book by Louise Hay. Take a moment to just arrive to wherever you are. You may be thinking about your day or the day that you have ahead. Well, let's arrive with just a nice deep breath. Inhaling in. Exhaling out. Ah, doesn't that feel good? So as I read some of these expressive, positive creativity affirmations, feel free to say them to yourself or just listen, sketch, and enjoy. My potential is unlimited. All of my creative projects bring me great satisfaction. I am learning to be more creative every day. I am safe and I am fulfilled in all that I do. I know that I can create miracles in my life. I do something new or at least different every day. I am discovering talents I did not know I had. I direct my creative talents towards anything that gives me pleasure, art, dance, music, or writing. Ideas come to me easily and effortlessly. My heart is the center of my power. I follow my heart. I release all resistance to expressing my creativity fully. I am grateful. I am grateful for my supplies. I am grateful for my creativity. I am grateful for overcoming any challenge. I am grateful that Creativity exists. I am grateful to share my story as an artist. I am grateful that inspiration is all around. I am grateful for you.
Hey, okay. I hope you enjoyed. Whew. I think today was just a super busy, productive day. And sometimes we have to give ourselves credit. We forget to slow down and just just be still and appreciate that very moment and the fact that we have a breath that has been like a really nice warm feeling of home for me and i just i guess i wanted to share that with you in case you may need it and i guess it's also a warm way for me to send a virtual hug <laughs> okay another sketchbook is finally complete and I'll be touring it in the next video so subscribe so you don't miss the next video I wish you guys a warm day or night wherever you are sending you some love and light your way and until next time